Hey beauty chameleons, it's Tasha and today I'm coming to you all with another neutral eye look. I guess I'm starting a series. Um, this neutral eye look is not as matte as the one before. I decided to add some more bronzy gold tones to this look. So if you're going to a wedding or if you're a bride and want more of a bronzy look or a look with a little bit more shimmer, um, stay tuned if you have a double stack palette from Coastal Scent, the Shimmer, and some Hip Duels, um, go grab your goodies and I will be right back. Okay, let's get started. Um, the first thing you always want to make sure you do is prime your eyes. And I already have my eyes primed to use um, Smashbox Photo Finish Lip Primer. But the first color we're going to play with is from the Coastal Sense Double Stack Palette, the Shimmer Palette. And I decided to work with the warmer colors since we're doing another neutral look with a little bit more of a gold bronzy effect to it. But the first color we start off with is this one here. It's the third one from the bottom over to your right hand side. And I'm just going to use my MAC 22 brush. It's just a flat brush and I'm apply just a little bit on the lip portion of my eye. So start with the Coastal Sense. What I've noticed is that they're pretty, um, they fall very quickly. So make sure you kind of use a patting motion or a dabbing before you start doing a lot of blending because you will have a lot of fallout with this particular brand of eyeshadow. So I'm basically just taking that color on my lid. I'm going to work that all the way over to about the outer three quarters of my eye. So as you can see I have a nice warm bronzy gold on my lid. Now once you have that color blended we're going to use the same brush and we're going to use the next shade down which is like a coppery, almost like a penny looking color. And I'm just going to apply it and pat it on the outer quarter of my eye. Just staying right underneath my orbital bone. And just pat and kind of overlap it a little bit too. Now the next color I'm going to use is the darkest of this grouping which is right in the lower right hand corner and I'm basically going to overlap and mix the color so I'm blending it I'm adding it right on top of that first one we just added and don't forget the packs I'm sure you can already see I have a little fallout happening right now now once you've done that you can go ahead and switch brushes I'm just going to take a um, crease brush. This is from Urban Decay and it's just a thin crease brush and I'm not adding any color to this. But I'm just going to start blending. So you're going to take that brush and start blending that color outward above your crease, above the orbital bow area. Just kind of go back and forth to slowly start getting some of that color to blend out. See that color starting to slowly come out? You just want it really soft because again it's not going to be a bold and dramatic look. It's going to be very soft and neutral. Now once you got that done, what we're going to do is go ahead and add our highlight color before we start adding in the darker tones. So what I did for the highlight color is to use a Sigma 224 brush which is a big fluffy dome shaped blending brush. And I'm take a um, color from my Tip Duo. And this is called Shady. I'm going to use this lighter color here. And I'm just going to grab just a little bit of color, as you can see, and dust it from my brow area and kind of slightly overlap it, as you see here, just to kind of soften up the edges of this first shadow that I apply. And then I'm going to kind of go back over with a lighter color. You can use like a vanilla or this is Lorac Beige. I think this is discontinued. But any vanilla color, light color that's closest to your skin tone, just go ahead and add that to the peak of the brow and then toward the outer portion just to kind of give a little highlight and soften up the color from Shady because Shady can be like a dark beigey brown. Okay, so we have that done. Next we're going to go ahead and add a darker tone. Um, and before I do that, what I usually do, I'm going to go back to the um, Coastal Scents palette and pick up the darker color and I'm going to stay with my little crease brush. I'm just going to add a little bit more definition to my crease area of my eye, just like so. Building up the color. Guess I should close my mouth, huh? <laughs> Now 
Okay, so once we have that to our liking, we can stop there. And I'm going to grab like a darker, um, almost like a metallic brown. And this is from the Hip Duo. It's called Dynamic. And I'm going to use that color right there. You can find L'Oreal Hip at your local CVS or um, drugstore. I'm going to add that into my crease area of my eye just to kind of darken it up and create just a little bit of a contour. Now what I may do, and again don't worry about the fallout, you can always go back and clean up with a baby wipe or with a q-tip and some makeup remover. Okay, now what I may do is change brushes because I want to get a little bit more detail in my crease and go with that same color from Dynamic Hip Duo and just kind of bring it just a little further into my crease. And I'm just using the windshield washer motion. And I'm also going to make sure it kind of fan it out just like so. But once I got that done, you are free to um, go ahead and clean up. Sometimes what I may go back and do, just checking for balance, it just adds a little bit more into my crease area. And then the last thing I'm going to do is kind of um, go back over my crease again with the Coastal Sense, the darkest color. Just to kind of warm it up just a little bit more. And then I'm also going to take that very first shade we play with, my 222 Retro Mac. Because sometimes when you work with the pigment, they fall on the lid. So I just want to reset that color a little bit. And just pat it on. And once I'm done with that, I'm just going to take just an angled brush. This is kind of like an eyebrow brush or eyeliner brush. It's from Sigma. It's SS266. I'm going to take that darkest color from Dynamic. Do it from hip, and I'm just going to go along my lower lash line. Just so I can get that same gradation of color along the lower lash line. And then I'll just bring it all the way to the center portion of my eye. Now, once you've done that, you can definitely go and line your eyes. I'm just going to basically use my favorite uh, fluid line from. Um, Mac and it's called Black Track, so just a black liner. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my lashes. And again, I'm just going to use a soft neutral or just a soft lash. And this is the Ardell's 110. And then I'm just going to add a mascara and I'll be back with the final look. Hey, you guys, here's the final look. As you can see, I added my lashes and I lined my eye area. But I figured this was a nice, another way of doing a neutral eye that you can do for going to work or if you're going to a wedding or your bride and just instead of a, a matte neutral eye maybe you may want more of a golden bronze neutral so to finish off this look I just did something very simple I had to play with my uh, mineralized um, cheek color and it's called Fadabulous from MAC and I just used the Coastal Scents um, SS187 brush and I just kind of dust it on just a little bit on my cheek area. I like this brush because it gives you a nice golden glow so if you want to be like a bronzy bride or just have a nice beach bronze look this is a perfect blush to play with and for the lip color to finish it off sometimes I have to be a little tricky with my lip color if I can't find the right brown so what I decided to do is um, use this Rimmel it's actually an eyeliner but if you soften it up, you can make it work, but I use that to line my lip. And then I decided to play again with the um, lip color from the Style Warriors collection. This is called, this is a glaze and it's called Sensational. But that's what I use for my lip. And just to add a little bit of gloss, I decided to add Rimmel. And it's called Kiss Off. It's a lip gloss from Rimmel. And it's called Talk To Me. But I just added a little bit of this just to the center of the lip and that's the final look you guys so I hope you guys enjoy this look I'm, you, I'm sure you guys are like what do you have on your head today I am playing with this wig I think it's called Carmen and I don't remember the exact number but this is a fun it's already flippy it's a synthetic wig that I'm just playing around different looks to see what I want to do with my hair but I think I really like this I mean let me know what you guys think but anyway before I start to ramble thank you guys so much for watching my channel and if um, you guys have any questions you know what to do 
send me a message below or private message me and then I'll have I'll try my best to get the product information either on the sidebar or on my blog as soon as I can but as always thank you guys so much for watching you guys have a wonderful weekend and I'll chat with you soon bye